What's going on peeps? Joshua here with JDF Wildlife Management and check this out. So on this bat exclusion here in the Noak and uh, finding a couple places to put some bat one-way bat doors to let these buggers on out of here and look what I have stumbled across. Check this out. So this piece of flashing that drops down here actually has nothing behind it. There's, there's no wood or nothing for this piece to attach to and actually secure it to this wall. You should have had a piece of wood behind here and then tap conned into the brick and this would have had something to attach. So this nail is superficial and actually goes to nothing, peeps. It is just there for looks. It's kind of like, uh, I'm not even going to say, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and keep it Jesus, y'all. But it is fascinating to see some of the work that I have come across up here. I don't know how these these crews are getting away with some of this stuff but fortunately enough it will make it easy to install the bat door and we'll get it addressed appropriately when the time comes to pull these bat doors down but yeah quite fascinating make sure whenever you are having any kind of work done around your house that you have multiple estimates done because eh, some of these jokers are just not even doing any kind of quality work anymore i mean we can see it in many many industries it's not just obviously home repair type stuff, but uh, in tons of industries across the United States, they're all falling to pieces. Um, you know, nobody wants to do any quality work anymore. I'm just grateful Lord God has provided me the skills to be able to address these matters, get this squared away for these folks, so that way they don't have any more issues. But yeah, I just thought that was quite unique, peeps. Well, I'm going to get this back door in, and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, and there it is. That is one bat door installed, so... Just used a bit of foam here and of course you know we're not dealing with grizzly bats so these this foam will be sufficient enough and along with the tension of this piece of siding pushing down on the one-way door here that door's not going to come out of there no wind will pull it out or anything and then of course foam it across there good shape so that's a quick simple fix to allow bats out so there you go there's a little tip get you uh plastic tube as such um, these are actually for fluorescent bulbs so those long fluorescent uh, tube style lights you can go procure you some of those or one of them really because they come in pretty long sizes there you know so just get one and you can make you a little bat door just cut it off and then wherever you are finding activity of the little squeakers the flying miskies just go ahead and find you a secure spot bada bing bada boom there you go all done so when we come back to actually uh, pull these bat doors down of course we'll just clean this up with some gooby gone get that all freshened up and then properly secure it down better to the brick and that'll eliminate any future problems so next just got to button up a little bit over there put another bat door on the other side of the chimney Basically the same location, just across on the other side of the house. And this project will be done. All right, hope y'all are doing well, peeps. Hope you're taking your skills, helping your family, friends, neighbors, strangers solve their problems. But more importantly, find your walk with Jesus by repenting and believing today. Because remember, the scriptures say in Psalm 128, a man shall eat by the labor of his hands. I'll tell you what, folk, I'm not hungry.